So I'm dyslexic. I was diagnosed with dyslexia when I was in college. Actually did not know that I was dyslexic for years. So that is why I'm a teacher, because I make me cry now. My name is Marcy Hildebrand. I've been teaching at Northwood for 23 years. This is my first school that I ever taught at. Been here in this same room for 23 years. I love everything about fifth grade. I love the kids. I love that we can really talk about what we're doing. I love that I can give them projects and the things they come up with are amazing. They want to tell you about their life and, and they want to be friends, you know, and, and a lot of that you have to have in order to be successful when they're struggling in the rest of their life. Struggled in school, um, could not read very well and I was, you know, wouldn't even, I could read, but I couldn't read well until I was well into high school. I really struggled. And my high school counselor told me that I needed to probably get into a trade, that I wouldn't make it in college. I was done with college in four years and said, I am going to help kids. I need to, I don't ever want anyone to tell a child that they can't do it. I think it's important that kids know that no matter what anybody says, if they really want it, they can do it. And I want to be here to help those kids, the ones that you know, have the hardest time. They need me the most. Thank God I got hired here. Best school ever. And it's, it says a lot that I've been here this long and I haven't moved and I don't want to move and I want to stay here forever, so. They'll probably have a tombstone out there with my name on it. had that ladder since my first day of school. I painted that ladder um, in my garage because I thought I needed a ladder. I actually have a lot of things. I have in my closet, um, every year I have a star student journal and their parents actually write it about them and they put pictures and talk about yeah, you know, they what, what they think their child is gonna be when they grow up and the kids read it to the class. I have every journal from every year I've ever taught. I have um, a student right now that's teaching over at Hidden Forest and I pulled her journal entry route and I took a picture of it and I sent it to her on her first day of teaching and said, uh, it even said in there, her parents said, I think she'll be a teacher one day. And so um, it's pretty neat that a lot that I see my, what I call my babies still and they're, you know, they're adults. Yeah, it's a, a labor of love. This job is a labor of love because typically on an everyday basis, you don't, people don't come up to you and say, oh, you're doing a great job. Our stack of things that we're supposed to be responsible for get bigger and bigger and bigger. The gaps with the kids get bigger and bigger and bigger. The needs of the kids get more and more intense, but then, I got a card from a student that just graduated and she was like, you know, I wouldn't be here without you. It was nine years later, you know, 10 years later, you get those little drops in your bucket. And that's what, um, that's what I love about teaching. That's what I love about my job.